Aloha. My name is A. Park. I am the chairman of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and Mauna Kea Marketplace in Chinatown. And I'm also the managing partner of J Dynasty Seafood Restaurants. Mahalo for joining me here for the restaurants of Hawaii on the ThinkTech platform. Today, we will be discussing the upcoming 2024 National Restaurant Association show. As a benefit of the membership, all HRA members can receive one complimentary admission badge to the show. To receive these member benefits, HRA members must register in advance for the complimentary badges on the NRA show's website. It's www.nationalrestaurantshow.com. Let me repeat. It's www.nationalrestaurantshow.com. The NRA shows will start from Saturday, May 18 to 21, and will take place at the McCormick Place, Chicago, Illinois. Additional badges are available to purchase price started at $250 each, and then we'll have more details on that after. Without further ado, allow me to introduce the esteemed guests joining me in our discussion about the NRA shows. Fresh from the success of the recent Hawaii hotel restaurant shows hosted by the HRA and its allies, we witnessed uh, unprecedented turnouts of attendees. It's evident that trade shows like this pose immense appeals, whether it's for sourcing top-notch yet affordable supplies, networking for essential businesses, services like insurance and, and medical coverage, or gaining in invaluable insights from the experts, speakers, featuring in the program. Their atmosphere was electric, dreaming, and also excitement is a learning opportunity for all the operators. But today, we are gearing up an even greater event, a grander event, the upcoming NRA shows. And it shed a light on what lies ahead. I'm getting a panel of distinguished individuals who are either inside of the show or seasoned attendees. So without further delay, allow, allow me to introduce uh, all these VIPs. So, so we have first Kaylin Rogers, if you can wave to us. Uh, she is a senior director of marketing, the National Restaurant Association show at the Kiss Me, Florida. Love that place. Um, uh, we have second person, a VIP is uh, Maggie Schutz, director of enterprise marketing for National Restaurant Hawaii, Na National Restaurant Association, Chicago, Illinois. And welcome. And we also have Chris Imamura, CEO of Rainbow Driving in Restaurant, in Rainbow Driving Restaurant, Kakaku. He's at the Kakaku right now, but his shop is at the Kalihi Bridge and White, um, at Kapapulu. So Rainbow Driving, again, is one of uh, my favorites. So it's the most popular uh, eateries for locals and tourists on Oahu. And the food and the quality are phenomenal. And the price is always reasonable. And also we have Tom Jones here. He's the president of Yotaku Restaurants at the Alamoana area of Oahu. As we all know, Tom Jones is a successful icon of all uh, restaurants operators in Hawaii. Tom is also an organizer for the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show that we just had, you know, and also uh, Tom is our past chairman for the Hawaii Restaurant Association. So welcome, Tom. Okay, so I'm gonna enter the show. So um, I'm gonna uh, go to uh, talk to Kaylin. So hey. Kaylin, can Hi. you please Hi. tell us? Yeah, great. So Kaylin, can you please tell us, you know, what sets what sets the National uh, Restaurant Association show apart from, from any other shows in the industry? Well, thank you. Um, besides being the largest trade show in the Western Hemisphere, so we, we welcome over 35,000 people to Chicago, to McCormick Place, that includes attendees and exhibitors. Right now, we're going to have over 2,000 ex exhibitions on the show floor. 
and a plethora of education and on on the floor programming. But I think the best thing about this show is that it's all inclusive. It, no matter where you are in the food service ecosystem, this show appeals to you. You can find new suppliers. You can find new new um, technology. You can find new foods. You can find new new uh, packaging. You can find new seats and tables and and you know patio coverings. You can find everything at this show, and it's also so welcoming to everybody as well. We take we want everybody who's a restaurateur. We want independents and commercial restaurateurs. We want um, non-commercial restaurateurs. You know those hospitals, those universities, those colleges, those um, assisted livings, um, all those. We want retail. Retail is such a big growing area for food stars. And we also want lodging. Everybody that's in the lodging industry who really is serving food service. So anywhere where you can have food service, those people are coming and converging in Chicago uh, this May. So we're quite excited about it. Wow. Sounds like a white stuff shop. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk to uh, Maggie. So Maggie, what are the main highlights or the key attractions that attendees might can expect in this year as a show? And also, are there any notable speakers, workshops, and demonstration planned? Yeah. And before I get into the excitement of what's happening this year at the National Restaurant Association show, I just wanted to say congratulations to you and the team on a successful show in Hawaii. Uh, I was looking at the website before I joined on the call, and I'll have to plan to go next year. So <laughs> I'm sure I'll have oppor- uh, plenty to learn to bring back to our own booth at the show. So, but on top of all of the great things that Caitlin has already mentioned about the show, just about everything that it covers, there are two big things that I wanted to highlight for people. Uh, and they kind of hit that breadth of everything that's happening at the show. The first is our keynote. So we're going to be having a conversation between Michelle Corsmo, who's uh, president and CEO of the National Restaurant Association, and Chef Jose Andres. Uh, who, <laughs> and in that intimate conversation, they'll be discussing uh, Jose's experience in the food uh, service industry, uh, the profound impact that food has on communities and how those two influences really intertwine with his philosophic efforts at World Central Kitchen. And so uh, outside of that amazing conversation, which everyone is looking forward to, uh, on my on the other side, I'm a little bit of a tech and uh, mechanical geek. So this year we're celebrating 20 years of the Kitchen Innovation Awards. And so those in, you can go ahead and check out the award winners now on uh, the hotel, on the Park me. That's right. Show website. I know on the show website, uh, or you can also get an opportunity to see them and kind of play with them and learn about them right on the show floor. So those are two highlights of many, uh, and I'm sure we'll talk more about all of them throughout the fall. Well, so not just one stop shop, one stop education too. You know, and I listen to all these great speakers. So I'm gonna go back to uh, Chris. So. Chris, I know you're the frequent visitors, you know, you're the tourists over there, <laughs> but you know, you're the one bringing all the good, good, good information. So, so, um, what educational opportunities does the show offer that your, your personality has benefited? Um, so that's a great question. I started going to the show maybe, I think it was four years ago or so. Um, and for me, it was more about education than it was. Um, exploring everything to start. Uh, what I went for first was the restaurant leadership workshop, which is like a whole day uh, workshop during one of the days. Learned a ton. Um, in a previous life, I was a computer engineer uh, working in tech and then came home to run family business and restaurant. So restaurant was, in a sense, semi-newer to me. So education for me was big. This year and kind of last year too, um, we're looking forward to a lot of, there, there's been topics on Gen Z recruiting and retainment, um, just different generations that we, cause we're as a family business, 62 years, we have employees that have been with us over 30. Um, and, you know, working with, you know, certain generations is always difficult and tricky. Um, so just new opportunities about that. Um, something big also this year we're looking forward to is how uh, AI can help streamline some operation. Um, not necessarily, obviously it can't do absolutely everything, but help, um, especially in our management team, 
kind of streamline certain things. Wonderful. Wow. Great. Thank you for the information. And, uh, Tom, so Tom, uh, you also visit the show as well, uh, frequently. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us, um, what, what is the cost to attending the, this NLA show? But, but as a benefit of membership, I just want to let everybody know all the HRA, uh, restaurant members can receive one complimentary admission batch mm -hmm. to the show. So don't forget about that in the beginning. So I said it. So to receive this uh, membership benefits, HRA members must register in advance for the complimentary batch on the NRA show's website. So it's a www.nationalrestaurantshow.com. And, uh, okay. So, uh, Tom, so tell us the cost. Well, from Hawaii, the cost of airfare and the hotel in Chicago, uh, ground transportation probably could run between four and maybe $5,000 altogether. And that would include dining out all over at the great restaurants in Chicago, which there are many, you know, everyone understand is that it's easy to find like three or four times the, the value of, you know, the cost of, of the, um, the trip in the value that you'll get from the show. I think the first year I went, we, I discovered, um, shoes for, for instance, to pull a brand name out. And we had had a couple slips and falls the previous year. And I came across the shoes for cruise booth. They did some demonstrations and I realized with the guarantee that they had that we could save, you know, uh, tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on, uh, on a shoot for group safety program. And so we implemented that and that's just one boot of the thousands of booths that are, that are there. There is so much that you can learn, uh, from at the show. And, um, it would be hard if you put your mind to it, not to be able to get three to four times your investment in the travel arrangements to see the show. I told you I agree with you, you know, great. Thanks for the Yeah. So much to learn. I mean, there's, yeah. Well, well one investment that you should also make is uh, a pair of very comfy walking shoes. <laughs> That's it's, it's yeah, three yeah, days yeah. He's yeah. at least to see the entire show. And it, it's, it's, it's a lot, a lot of walking, but it's worth every step. So what you're saying, we should buy a first class to go to Chicago and come. It's still worth it. So, yeah. So going back to Kaylin, so are there any new and uh, innovative technology? I'm working okay on technology. I love technology. So are there any innovative technology and products that being featured in this year, 2024 show? Well, last year we saw really the, the, the beginning of AI and really AI coming into the restaurant industry. This year, you're going to see more AI than ever before in a different uh, pieces of uh, food service equipment, as well as even, you know, one of the oils that we selected for Fabi was AI generated. They went out, said, how can we really make this a more plant-based product? And they AI generated it. So you never know where AI or technology is going to come from. I think the best thing that we're going to see this year is really from, from food service equipment, it's efficiency. We know labor, like Chris said, is, is a challenge. So how can equipment manufacturers streamline the processes for them with more efficient equipment that um, automates more steps, that can take steps out of the labor's, um, you know, workflow to get things done quicker and easier for all staff involved. Um, some of the food products that we're going to see, we're seeing more explosion of plant-based more explosion of, you know, even impossible hot dogs, if you can believe it. You know, there was always the impossible burger. Now there's the impossible hot dog. So um, one of the other ones I thought was fun that's a fabby favorite is guacamole bites. It's taking the guacamole and the chip and putting it into a fried ball that you can serve. So you never know what you're going to see or taste or really experience at the show. There's just so much to, uh, to see. Uh, last year we saw ro robots was a big thing delivering products and things to the table. So um, we see more of that, more kiosks, more, more interaction, mobile ordering. You'll see Uber Eats there. You'll see um, Toast there. You see Grubber. You see a lot of these, uh, these other ancillary products that really help support food service there as well, as well as Coke and Pepsi and everything else that's a favorite. So um, really excited about that. You know, all the different innovations and all the different products that are going to be and one other thing that's new too is Startup Alley. Startup Alley is our one pavilion that we introduce all new 
manufacturers into food service. So if you've been in business less than two years, you can be in this pavilion area. So it can be a wide variety of products from food to technology to equipment that's going to be showcased in our startup alley. Wow, it makes me so excited. I'm talking about ticket already. So, um, <laughs> Good. Um, Maggie, so after the show added any new events, pavilions, or opportunities that this year's the operators should know about? Uh, which pavilions are back this year? Uh, are there more exhibitors this year? You know, I'm actually going to take you off the show floor. I'm sure Caitlin can give us a very exciting uh, roundup of everyone who's new here. But what I do want to point out is, Chris, I was so excited when you mentioned education because that is one of the new things that the show is really focusing in on this year. There's a expo and education badge, and that allows people to really get the opportunity to dive into 40, over 40 different educational sessions at show. So they've really leaned into that. And I'm excited to hear that it's you know, like a drop for you, Chris, and it, was, it has been for years. Uh, the other thing that I find really exciting and that's new this year is that we'll be hosting a member networking reception on Saturday. So we're inviting all of the listeners, to, viewers here today to join us. It's going to be on Saturday from 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, right on the show floor. We'll be sending out invites uh, sooner, closer to show. And then on top of that, this isn't new, but it's another great community thing, which I really wanted to highlight because at the show, there's so many amazing things on the show floor that sometimes it's hard to meet people. But the show team has really put together a lot of great opportunities throughout the event to go and it's called meetups. There's one happening. There's more than one happening each day. And it gives you the opportunity to find your community, connect on the show floor and kind of uh, create those impromptu magic moments that really you know, like make the trip. So those are, those are my highlights that I'm looking forward to and the new things that are coming out this year. Wonderful, wonderful. So Chris, you know, other than the show, you know, by the way, I'm going with you. <laughs> other than the show, what else is there to do? So uh, I think now you led up straight to what I was going to talk about is uh, the networking opportunities. Um, you know, you go to the show with a purpose um, for learning about this or trying to gain that. But I, I found myself just talking to people um, around the world. It was it was really eye opening to see how other cities, countries do restaurants um, and get ideas from them. Um, we've been lucky enough; some of them have heard of us from all over the world. So it was kind of cool to talk to them about that. Uh, but Chicago in May is. I mean, knock on wood, it is usually absolutely beautiful. Uh, the weather is great. Um, I think the food and drink city kind of what Tom was talking about, the restaurants there, the bars there are all top notch. Um, and then obviously if it's your first time, you have to do all the tourist things. Uh, go see Millennium Park, uh, go take an architecture tour. I think the Cubs are playing this year uh, yeah. during that weekend. So I might make it out to a game. Um, but yeah, just enjoy the city. I think something for us coming from Hawaii, uh, because the, well, the nonstop flight lands at, I think, 6 a.m. or something like that. Um, give yourself a day to get adjusted. Last year, because of just time constraints, I landed at 6 and had a show at 9 or like an educational thing at 9. And it was just a long day. So just making sure you plan uh, a little bit of time for yourself to like catch up and, and get ready too. Are you thinking about rainbow driving Chicago? <laughs> Nothing's out of the question, so <laughs> we'll just have to. It's see. exciting city. Yeah, yeah, we're there and uh, I enjoy Definitely. it so. So, so Tom, Tom Jones is a world winning chef uh, at Kyotaku Japanese restaurants and the most successful Caucasian chefs on the island and the operating <laughs> authentic, you know, ethnic uh, restaurants and at the multiple entities here. So, Tom, what? What interesting and inspiring aspects have you witnessed when attending this show? Well, the, the, um, the educational seminars and webinars are, are, seminars are really, really great. Um, but there are a lot of demonstrations there as well. Uh, on the show, uh, the, the show floor, you'll see demonstrations by different chefs from around the globe preparing foods. And then they also have competitions. So you'll see young culinary students carving ice or doing pastries. Um, all types of, uh, you know, beautiful food uh, presentations. It's really great to see young people thing at the show. So I always enjoy going down 
in the in this in the lower section where they have all the competitions. That's uh, always fun. And another thing that that um, to look out for, make sure that you you know if you're attending the show, check with your vendors before you go, especially the national vendors. Um, uh, as often done um, at a national restaurant association educational foundation fundraiser in the evenings. And um, if you're fortunate enough to get invited to that, there's great opportunities for um, uh, things of that nature. There's a, there was a Nike event one year. So there's a lot going on oh, after the show, uh, check with vendors, check with the, the uh, show uh, website to see what happened to mid College of the extracurricular activities. Got it. Thanks, Tom. Now let's go uh, last round with uh, Kaylin. So, Kaylin, what? Why should professionals, you know, like us uh, in in the industry, consider attending? I think it's a great opportunity. I'm going to piggyback what Tom and and Chris said. It is a great networking opportunity, but I also think it's a great time to unplug from your day to day and just explore. I mean, go eat everything, go see everything, go touch everything. It's just a great opportunity to to open up yourself to new possibilities. I always say, if you can walk away from an event with three new ideas, it was worth the investment of your time and energy to get there. Because you never know, like Tom said, I might get choose for cruise. You know, Chris might find something fabulous and new that he needs for his operation. And he found it at, our, at the restaurant show. And I think that's just amazing. So I think Every professional should come. It's just an eye-opening experience. Uh, you said about wearing comfortable shoes. Yes, it's the number one tip I give everybody to wear comfortable shoes. And now since COVID's over, I think we all are a little bit more casual than we've ever been before. So sneakers are on the table to to wear to this event. So, but, you know, but also I'm going to say plan. We, we're going to have our mobile app up in about a week or two. I'll make sure you guys know about that, but it's a great way to download it on your phone and start looking at all the vendors and exhibitors that are there and start tagging them so you kind of make a plan that you really want to go visit them. It's a great way to tag the the demonstrations that you want to see. It's a great way to tag mixology beverage demonstrations. So there's always opportunities to plan better, to make yourself comfortable, but please come and enjoy everything that we have to show that to offer on the show floor. And everything that is Chicago off the show floor, like um, Tom and Chris said, there's so much to see and eat off the show floor as well. It is a 24-7 event as far as I'm concerned for four days. So it's just great. Hope you all come. Thank you. Kaylin, I'm adding two more managers on the trip. Okay, good. <laughs> you can sell me anything. <laughs> so, um, so go back to Maggie. Uh, what sets of the show? Uh, what sets of the show apart from just serving the product online? Uh, sometimes you know, one stop shop, you can also get it online too. What? Yeah. what why do we need to go to the show? Well, you know, honestly, you're like, uh, Caitlin has been the biggest type person here. I don't know if I can really beat all of the the magic that she was just bringing. But really, honestly, for me, with any event. The magic is being in person and the magic is getting the experience of getting away from your everyday life to be able to allow that creativity to kind of to like settle and uh, spark as you explore a new place, whether it's the trade show floor or the city and everything that the city has to offer. So I would say come and bring it to life and experience everything that the show in Chicago has to offer. Well, I'm going to pitch in, I'm going to pitch in on that. A bit. Um, I'm going to say this. It's a great way to compare and contrast products that you might be interested in. If you're looking at a fryer, go look at all the fryers. If you're looking for an ice machine, go look at all the ice machines. If you're looking for a POS system, go look at all the point of sale systems that we have on the show floor. It's a great way to compare and contrast in real time, get the salesman's pitch, see if they're telling you the truth. And go and look around the hall. It just, it just, the, there's no other show that's really going to give you that breadth of product and in that, in that space that you can really make very conscious decisions for your business. Wonderful. Yeah. So, Chris, why did you continue to attend the show? And what, what has been Rainbow Drive in the top local restaurant here gained from your attendance 
for the NRA shows? Um, it, I think Kaylin just read my mind a little bit. Uh, we we recently switched uh, to maybe two years ago. We switched to Toast, um, and it was me going to the show and kind of comparing the different point of sale systems, asking the current one we had at the time what their roadmap uh, looks like, and comparing that roadmap to other um, point of sale systems. Uh, other than that, we we have different services like our digital boards. Uh, we found them through the restaurant. So we have, uh, we're beta testing a AI scheduler now with one of the companies we met there. Um, but like I said earlier, it's you don't necessarily have to go there with something like I need to buy something. It's a lot of just like what haven't I thought of that other people have and how can I bring that back? Um, and some things might not be ready this year. But they're developing it. So you keep track of them and you keep talking to them. And same thing with our, our AI schedulers. Like, hey, they're like, we're going to beta test it. Do you want to help? And we're like, okay, yeah, let's try that. Um, so it's just going with an open mind, having some goals in mind, but you know, also listening to what people have to say. So give your chef a vacation. Down go. Yeah, yeah, Tom. So, can you tell me, you're the chef. So, can you tell us how does these atten attendees make the best out of the visit in the 2024 NRA show? Well, I think Caitlin said it well. Plan your trip. So, start in advance. Get make yourself a schedule. Look over the vendors. Have a general idea of some things that you'd like to to study or learn about. Um, but you know, again, it's an investment, and just relax. Um, look at as much as you possibly can, keep your mind open and, uh, get a really good feel for, uh, working on your business instead of at your business, just take a break, get away and, and open your mind up and just really, you know, go in with a very open mind and learn as much as you can. Uh, and, and again, wear, wear nice shoes and uh, enjoy Chicago, you know? Wow. You guys absolutely blew me away. And I'm going to leave all these, uh, bills on my, uh, on my, on my, on my, on my credit card now. So getting all these people done. <laughs> um, so I'm absolutely blown away by all the insightful information shared by, uh, with all of us today on the think, think that platform. I would like to thank all our guests here joining us today. We look forward to hearing for about what this year NLA shows can bring. Again, May is coming. Don't wait, register at www.nationalrestaurantshow.com. And please remember, nourish connections, save a life, eat healthy, and live well. And aloha boy, Hawaiian words, until we meet again. to announce that ThinkTech Hawaii is moving into a new phase and will not be producing regular talk shows after April 30th. We will retain our website and YouTube channel and will accept new content on an ad hoc basis. We are also developing a legacy archive program to provide continuing public access to our content. If you can help us cover the costs of the transition and the development of our legacy archive program, please make a donation on thinktechaway.com. Thanks so much. Aloha.